Hi, my name is Clinton with Osaki Titan. I'm going to show you how to put together the Jupiter XL massage chair. So when you get the chair, it will come in three boxes. All you have to assemble is the footrest and the two side panels. The back will already be attached. In order to put on the side panels for this Jupiter XL, so there's two holes, one here, one here, and this bracket. You want to line it up with this hole, this hole, and that bracket holder. So you want to go ahead and just put this on, just like such, and then this hole will line up as well, just like that. Go ahead and push it in, and line up these two holes right here, like such. And then the only other thing you need to do with this is move that out of the way, that's for the back pad, and then these two air hoses. They go in and right where they sit. So just push them in. Connect the male to the female end of the hose. Okay, just like that. So there are two different size screws when you are attaching the side panels. There is the smaller ones, which look like this, and those go right here and right here on the sides where the brackets are. Then there's also one longer screw, and what you need to do is unzip the zipper to the shoulder airbag. The zipper goes right around the side, and once you open that, so right here is the hole where you want to put the long screw right inside. It will line up as long as the panel is on correctly. So just start it with your hand. Never start it with an electric drill or with a screwdriver. You always want to get the first couple threads nice and threaded. So okay. Once that screw is in nice and snug, you want to go ahead and zip this back up. The zipper is going to be right here. Zip it back up and tuck the zipper back away. So now you want to put the two screws for this side in on the base. So they go right here. You want to go ahead and get that started. Make sure you don't strip it. And once it's started, go ahead and move to the back one. The back one is in, just follow it right down the line, straight back. And that one's right there. Go ahead and put that in the screw hole. And then get that screwed in as well. And there again, you want to get it snug, not over tight. And then you want to make sure the front one is tightened as well. Okay. And then you'll do that on the other side, and it's exact same mirrored to the other side. So now we're gonna put the footrest on the Jupiter XL. There is three air hoses and one, one plastic clip for the electronics of the footrest. Here is where you find the clip and the three hoses. They are color coded, black, a green, and a white, black, green, and white. And we're gonna go ahead and put those on first. You wanna make sure they're pushed in all the way so they don't pop off and the air does, will not work if they come out. Okay, and that plug will only go in one way. So to put the footrest on this Jupiter XL, there are gonna be two hinges right here. They're gonna have screws that are in the center of each of them on both sides. It's mirrored, exact same on both sides. So all we need to do to get the footrest to attach, once you attach the three air hoses and the, the white plug, is you wanna go ahead and remove the center screw from both sides. Okay, and then the hinges will lift up. Do you see that? The hinge lifts up. See, those need to be up in order to put the footrest on the chair. Okay, so once those are lifted up, all you'll need to do is lift the footrest up and just lay the footrest in those hinges, like such. So what you wanna do is once you get the hinge closed back shut, closed over the footrest is you want to go ahead and put that screw back in on both sides again. Like so. Okay. And this one back on too. And I'm using just a Phillips screwdriver, just a handheld one. And those are on. So the next step, what you want to do is get your back pad. Let me get that for you. You want to lay the back pad on the chair. 
so there's a plug and there's a plug. You want to go ahead and plug those in and make sure they make a good connection. Okay, like that. And then there's an air hose here and there's also a white air hose nipple that comes off the chair. You want to hook that in as well. Okay, so there's going to be zippers that go around the side of the chair. You want to line up the zippers, the ends of the zippers off the backrest to there. So move the zipper all the way back to the starting position. Once you get the zipper started, go ahead and zip it all the way around the front of the chair. It's hard to see what I'm doing, but it's just zipping around the base. Watch out for your air hoses and your plugs on this side as well. And both sides mirror each other. So if you did one thing on one side, you need to make sure you do the same on the other side. So there again, here is the plug, here is the plug. You can push the plastic down to get it out, plug it in, and pull it. And pull it back, so it covers it. And then that air hose that is right here, just plug it into that nipple right there. Okay, so there's zippers on the sides that start at the top. You want to zip those up as well. And just zip that down. And what this does is keep the back pad in place for you. Okay, so that side's done. And like I said, if you did it to one side, do it to the other because it mirrors the other side. So once you get that done, the only remaining part is the air hose that comes out the top, which is right here. You want to go ahead and clip that in as well. Once that's clipped in, there are one more zipper that you need to put on that holds this to the top. Once everything else is done with the chair, just go ahead and connect these zippers here, just like that. So we're gonna hook the remote up. So what you wanna do is take the remote wire and there's gonna be a hole where you can see light coming through, right through here. And you wanna go ahead and stick the remote wire through there and feed it through a little bit. And then you'll come through on the back. Let me turn this so you can see it. You want to go ahead and take this and plug it in here, like so. 